Hey, so I kind of want to discuss something that uh, is kind of close to who I am. Uh, not a, not who I, I have been, but more so who on this continuum of life who I've become. I... I'm going to cut to the quick because I know that I enjoy talking around subjects that I feel uncomfortable speaking about. But this video is about faith. I was raised Buddhist, Nichiren Daishonin Buddhism for to be specific, and I was raised in it and it's where a lot of the basic teachings of how I believe we should interact with other people are. And I think that's the same with every religion. I um, rebuked but still respected all religions because, well, I rebuked it because I saw how divisive it was and I accepted it all because I saw how helpful it was. Here I am still talking around the issue. Faith. This is the first time I've ever felt true faith. Um, and what I'm speaking towards is I'm talking about the election I'm talking about 2020 I'm talking about Donald Trump but I'm more ta more so talking about the the fabric of our country um, I see in pretty much every single instance of normality there is a augmentation and a change that is subtle, but it's like a death by a thousand cuts, and I am so terrified that the forces that work against our country are going to win because we are a capitalistic country, which is, means that money is power, and we all want money, even if we want a higher nobility or a higher noble goal like we still live in America we are capitalistic capitalistic society so we have the idea to get wealth and we usually get wealth becoming a doctor becoming a lawyer becoming an actor becoming a politician so the faith that I have is that Donald Trump's going to win that Donald Trump is going to win because of the proof that we've seen in terms of the fraud will accumulate to such a uh, strong level of, oh wow, yeah, obviously, <laughs> you know, and I hope that's the case, and I have the faith, like, I mean, like, there's people that are saying no, there's people that are th throwing slings and arrows, and at the end of the day, I'm not hurt by any of it because I'm like, I have faith. I have trust. I, I have a belief. And my belief is that our system will correct because it is designed to. I, I believe that. I don't know about the afterlife. I don't know about reincarnation, which is something that I truly believe in. Like, and real quick... What I, what I believe is in the expanding and the contraction of the whole entire universe and that we are all each other and we are all every single blade of grass in the field. That's the way I'm teaching my kids to love everybody because we are literally everybody. I'm really happy with it. And I think it's a strong belief structure. But this is the first time I've ever had faith in, the, in an adversity. With people laughing, with people pointing, with people saying you're wrong, with people debunking or people debunking or whatever. It's like this is the first time in my life that I've looked and said, you know what? I am a strong individual and I believe in what I believe. And no one can tell me anything different. Now I'll say one more thing about who I am. I was raised by lesbians, Buddhists, one white, one black, in, in rural upstate New York. 
I didn't I had a sister, I didn't have any brothers. It took me a very long time to kind of understand what being a man was. And I went through a lot of amalgams of what I thought it was. At one point I thought it was how many keys you had, how many doors could you open, which is metaphorically true, but I was being more literal. I've worked and I've looked and I've seen and I've tried to understand what masculinity is. And what I've discovered is now it's really just standing up for who you are, standing up for yourself. Masculinity could be anything. It's, it's just being strong with who you are. And I am. And over the last four years I've had to because I've, ooh, what? I've had to deal with some ignorance. And, you know, in the beginning I played nicely, but I kind of failed near the end. Because I'm like, what do you do? How about that? You know? You hurt my feelings. That's my favorite thing. I'm triggered. Well, now I'm triggered. You can't... You, you, you realize how stupid that argument is, right? I'm sorry. I'm, I've gone off on a tangent. I have been enjoying bars closing at 10 o'clock. Because I just get it all before 10. So... So, faith. I truly have this, like... Something I've never, ever felt before. Like, what people must believe about God, or the gods, or, or, or reincarnation, or, or anything. What people must believe. Because, like, if I walk up to somebody who's a devout anything, anything, it doesn't, doesn't even matter. And I say, I'm, I have some questions, and I don't think that's necessarily true. They're going to be like, yeah, you say that, but this isn't this. Like, I'm doing the same thing with Trump. And... And I'm okay with it. I've lost friends. I've lost family. I've lost friends. I've lost family. But if me not being an individual and being a man is the price to pay to be with people who can't accept me for who I am and my beliefs or my understandings, then I don't need them in my life. And it sounds so strange for me to say that. Because I've heard that. I'm going to leave it here with one more thought.